In this tutorial, I'm going to show instructors how to add a rubric to any new assignment or any existing assignment. I am going to add one to an existing assignment, but the steps will be the same if you're adding a new assignment. So I'm in my edit mode here, and as always, I see my description and files and due dates. And then down in the grading window is where I find my points possible. I've already added the points possible for this assignment, but when I hover over the add rubric button, I can go down to create new rubric. And from this panel that window that pops up, I can name my rubric. And I can add a description if I'd like. But then if I keep scrolling down, you'll come to the panel that says rubric detail. And this is that typical uh, grid system for a rubric that you might uh, be familiar with. So across my columns here, I have the levels of achievement and down in rows, I have the uh, different criteria that I'm requiring for this assignment. Uh, if I need to add new criteria or edit any of these, I can do all of that. Any of these gray arrows, uh, these circles with the gray arrow, I can click edit and I can automatically rename any of these panels. I can also add a row. So this is a criteria. If I want to add my next criteria here and click save. And then you'll notice that everything is weighted as a zero right now, but I can just simply click balance weights and it will automatically balance the criteria here. I can go back and I can add the weights for my levels of achievement as well. And I can even add descriptions for each level of achievement if I want to give students feedback or uh, reiterate the criteria that I've been asking for. Then I just click submit and you will see the rubric reading responses here come up on this assignment now. And I can click submit so that it saves on this assignment. And I can also scroll down to my next assignment that has the same criteria. I can edit. I can add rubric and if I select, now I have my reading responses rubric that I just created and I'll click submit and then the reading responses criteria is automatically added. The next step is to use this while you're grading and so I will show you an attempt here that a student submitted. As always, I see their attempt on the left side but if I click this slim blue line here, it will open the rubric panel. If I then click project rubric, I can see the exact criteria and levels of achievement that I implemented in the rubric that I created. I can even click show feedback and I can provide custom feedback in each of these panels for that specific student based on the score that I'm giving them. So typically if I am scoring down for any reason, I will definitely provide an explanation here just to have evidence of the criteria that I was looking for and the level of achievement that the student um, succeeded with. And then you just click save rubric and click submit and that grade is automatically entered.